All right, guys, here we go. It's Christmas time aboard the Aurora, the sexiest ship in the galaxy. And I present for your listening enjoyment. Twas the night before Grand Arena. <clears throat> Twas the night of Grand Arena. And on this particular gack, not an opponent was stirring. Not even a bat. Katy Perry was well stocked and filled with beer in hopes that the captain would soon be here. All rosters were saved and set in their places as hollow table heroes prepared to go face to face. And the Aurora was prepped and ready for flight with a tank full of space gas for the grand arena fight. When up on the bridge there rang out a banger, a chorus of Muppets including Animal on his hangar. They sang of someone they called the captain, a maniac to be sure, certainly, a mad. The LEDs on the bridge then did ignite and light up the scene to everyone's delight. Among blasters and sabers, who should appear but a roguish scoundrel in search of a beer? With all of the grace of a newborn bison, I knew right that moment that that must be the horizon. Already stumbling from pre-show libation, he roared out a welcome and warm salutations. Welcome aboard the sexiest ship in flight. I will be your captain for the Grand Arena fight. The matchup is likely worse than you fear, but we'll give it our best and try to full clear. He urged everyone to hold on tight as the engines they roared and the Aurora took flight. Chances are they'd travel far in search of adventure among the stars. Not wanting to stall or raise the tension like another streamer who shall not be mentioned, and worried that he might be already hosed, he leapt right to a review of the offensive zones. And when he saw it, he knew it wasn't fine. That asshole, Lord Vader, all the way to Relic 9. And without even looking because he knew the odds, a pricey little datacon with 98% dodge. Not wanting to cry in front of the chat, he set about sorting the plan of attack. To win would require just the right comps, and sadly, it would need more than the Womps. Like Br'er Rabbit, he leapt into the thicket and proclaimed it was time to get wicked. But Cat and Kenobi were quickly dislodged, and that dickhead, he dodged, and dodged, and dodged, and dodged, and dodged. And somewhat distraught, he lamented, ah, poopers. And Sinfrio emerged and said, did you say troopers? No, not troopers, although more awesome than Ray's. He was scared they couldn't handle the days. So he went with his gut more than a hunch and called upon that team called the Brady Bunch. The Bounty Bunch. Amid cries of Boba, we settled the case and finished Lord Vader with a rocket to the face. And the rest of the teams, they fell with ease and the captain sure looked pleased. As Golden rang out, he held up a beer. Merry Christmas to all, and to all, full motherfucking clears. Merry Christmas, ladies and gentlemen.